answer questions. I'm about to give you a lot of examples and um, these are all student responses. They're not perfect, but we are going to study what they did correctly and then what also they can do to improve next time around. So let's look at, at the actual short answer question itself. Using your knowledge of U.S. history, let's answer A, B, and C. Part A, choose one of the nations below and describe its ideas and methods on the colonization of the New World. So you can pick Great Britain, Spain, or France. Part B, contrast your answer in A to that of one other group. So now you need to pick a different country. And then C, use one piece of historical evidence that was not used in your previous answer to support your answer in Part B. So if I chose Spain to write about in Part A, I might choose France in Part B. But Part C is asking me to use, again, a piece of historical evidence not used in B to support your answer again in Part B. So you're still on topic with France in Part C. Hope that makes sense. But if not, I'll give you some examples here in just a moment. Maybe clear up some confusion. So let's look at some things that you could write about. I'm not going to go over all of these key terms right here, but what you see before you is a long list of specific factual information. Um, you can think of them as key terms as well, but these are words that you can use in your writing that will confirm to me or your reader that you have a deep understanding of whatever the topic is at hand. So maybe pause the video and take a look at some of the different things that you could write about to support whatever claim you make in your actual analysis in your writing. But let's look at some student examples to give you a better idea of what I mean by this. So example one, this is of part A. And by the way, you will see all of the different questions up at the top of the screen as well. So example one, France colonized the New World in a slightly ethical and resourceful way. They've answered the question. In AP, we use an acronym called ACE. Please refer back to a video that I've made on this already, but the first sentence you're answering the prompt. You're answering the question, whatever it may be. Instead of killing the natives, the Curio de Bois, there's a key term right there, and you can look back at here, and you can see where I've got that marked, Curio de Bois, over there for France. And other traders worked with the Indians, learning and adapting to their culture. What the student has done is they've cited evidence. They've given me one of those key terms. They didn't just say tr that, that the French traded with the Native Americans. They identified who these traders were. I mean, the Spaniards traded with the Native Americans. But that right there, that little detail, that makes a big difference. So let's finish it out. This led to the Native Americans supporting the French in future events like the French and Indian War. So the student has essentially answered the question, so what? They've expanded and they've also kind of explained their answer right there in that last third sentence. So what you should see is ace, answer, cite, and expand. And you'll get some more examples of that here in just a moment as well. So let's look at Spain. Spain colonized in order to gain wealth through any means necessary. In result of this desire, Spain used the encomienda system, a form of slavery where Spaniards ruled over working natives to acquire money. The Spanish had bad relations with the natives and made no effort to live with them. Their only focus was on gold, so they have gone on expanded upon as well. Let's look at B, contrasting. So Spain focused on converting the natives to Christianity in the colonies. To try and make the Indians like themselves, here's where they began contrasting, they focused on spreading Christianity by building missions. As a result of these missions and other kinds of treatment, the Pueblo Indians revolted and took over the area for a brief amount of time. Now you got to think to yourself when you see something like that. It says missions and other kinds of treatment. Personally, I would have put mistreatment on there if you've got the Pueblo Indians revolting right there. And they're using good examples, things that we studied in class. But think to yourself as we kind of go through this, is, is that clear to you? Are you really clear as to what the Pueblo revolt was in that particular sentence? What, are the, what is the area that they're actually talking about right there, that they took over the area for a brief amount of time? I think this is a good example. I like this example, but I do think that they could have elaborated a little bit more with the expand part as they finished out their, their, their thoughts. Let's look at another example. Great Britain colonized as a result of religious issues at home. There was a desire for religious freedom within, from the Catholic Church after the Protestant Reformation. They're, they're citing. The king would not support the beliefs of the Puritans, so they decided to leave in order to have their own beliefs. Spain wanted gold just as much as Great Britain wanted religious freedom. So try to expand right there too. But I want you to think about this as well in that third sentence. How could they expand upon this thought that Puritans um, of Puritans and religious freedom? How could they expand upon that a little bit more? Maybe um, talk about the Plymouth Colony or, um, or, or, or something like that of that nature or the Massachusetts Bay Colony. 
Okay, so let's look at part C. This one was the part that most people kind of had a little trouble with, some struggles with part C. Okay, so you're a little bit restricted because you can't use any, any key terms or pieces of SFI that you used in your previous answer. So watch what these two students decided to do. So the Spaniards also enslaved the Native Americans to build the economy of their own colonies. The Spanish used the encomienda system to practically enslave the Indians in order to gain more wealth and silver for their settlements. The encomienda system and this style of colonization led to the Spanish involvement in the African slave trade. So you got to think to yourself too. I like that the student talked about the slave trade. I think that's a good connection to make on a very, very sad subject. But how and why? It's a little bit unclear right there. I, I wish that this student had mentioned that, um, that the encomienda system hurt the Native American population so much that there was a need to go in and get involved or more involved in the African slave trade in order to replace Native American workers. So I think they could still elaborate a little bit further on it, but I think it's still a pretty good answer. Great Britain also colonized as a result of economic problems. There started to be too little space for everyone, so the headright system was created to encourage people to move to the New World with the promise of 50 acres. The enclosure movement also pushed people to colonize because many jobs were lost because of lack of need. Great Britain needed to colonize in order to resolve their economic issues. So essentially kind of the same thing with that last part. I think they could have expanded upon that a little bit, especially when they said uh, many jobs are lost because of a lack of need. Maybe expand upon the enclosure movement a little bit more, talk about sheep herding and so forth. So I hope this video was helpful to kind of see some good examples. They're not perfect, but they are, that I think that they would get credit if this was graded by the college board all in all. Okay, so if you still have questions, please let me know. Be glad to help out. Thanks for watching.